this was an Aram's tunnel. What the heck is Torag doing here? Oh, I'm praying the wrong thing. What am I doing? I got distracted by Torag. All right, first chest of the video. No way! Aram's rope top. Nice. Awesome. Okay, this is gonna be a great one. We're we're already off to a, an amazing start. No way. Um. All right. Cool. I'm happy. I just want to see you know one high ticket item uh, before this staff lost all of its charges. So yeah, I'm very happy. All right. Second chest coming up. Can we get another Barrows item back to back? Nope. Nothing. 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 Well, actually, no, not nothing. 420. Nice little stack of coins. An elite clue scroll. Nice. Let's go ahead and do this and see if we can get any cool items from this. I think it's the first time that I use the uh, Incando hammer. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I gotta go back. Send me back, please. How have I never noticed that? I know we just spent an entire day sailing to uh, Nate's Nut, but please send me back. I need to see something. Is this really the first time that I've noticed that Hobgoblin just... Oh, there's multiple Hobgoblins. And there's Rock Crabs here. That's interesting. I didn't know that Hobgoblins... um spawned on top of these areas a bit odd that they spawn here and they can't they can't ever leave that's kind of sad but it's also quite interesting let's talk to the genie there we go we've got our casket let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got okay pretty worthless <laughs> it's it's you know it's it's something it's 150k i'll take it but yeah not not, not the greatest at all Wow, okay. Another, uh, another pretty bad chest. Another elite clue scroll. Alright, I guess we're going back out there. I feel like I've seen this before somewhere. Hmm. Ooh, a sapphire. Accidentally grabbed <laughs> way more desert amulets than I need. There we go, there's our casket. Here we go. 85k? Yeah, pretty bad. Not gonna lie, pretty bad. Hey, another item. A Derox Great Axe. Half a mil, I'm not bad. I'll, I'll definitely take that. I think we're looking pretty good. Seventy-three charges left with seventy-three thousand in the value. Of that chest it's meant to be yeah i think they have enough charges for like one more one more run so let's see if we get lucky on this last one all right last chest for a while no item all right so not bad from a full charge of this trident we managed to get uh well i cleared my loot tracker but we got 23 kills today and then however many we had in the last video some of the uh runes i think fell into this stack but it shouldn't be that many it was just 22 charges so let's go ahead and sell off all of our loot all right all the runes sold about 5.6 mil combine this cash stack with this one and we are very close to that 10 mil cash stack which actually now that i think about it if we sell our boots and necklace oh we're so close we're so close. Is there really nothing that I have that I can sell here? What if I grab all these potions? Oh, the sharks. We can grab the sharks. I'm just going to end up buying this stuff like right back. But I just, I, I want us to hit our goal right here. Come on. Sell, sell it all. Just take everything. Take, take it all. Take it all. <laughs> no, come on. Can I sell this glory? I can't. Uh. Oh, there's a prayer right there. Yep. And with that last three dose sold off, we've hit our 10 mil goal that we had. I mean, that come on, that, that just looks so nice. The green text, 10 mil. That's, that's, that's looking real nice. So after acquiring the 10 mil cash stack, I quickly spent it and lost the 10 mil cash stack. The first upgrade that I bought was of course the Slayer helmets. Now, just for the sake of fashion scape, 
I am going to move all of them over to my main tab, but if I do die and I lose a Slayer Helmet on death, then I do have to return all the helmets back to the Unlocks tab and pay for them again. With the Slayer Helmets obtained, I decided to do my Slayer task, which was to kill 188 Cave Kraken. Now for this, I was going to kill the boss, so I decided to go and purchase a gear setup. And that led me to unlocking another item, the Barrow's Gloves. Now for these, I only paid 104,000 coins because of the diary that we get. We get it for slightly cheaper. I think without it, it's like 130,000. But now that we had our new gear setup, we could go and fight the Fearsome Kraken. I just want to say these fishing explosives are really, really cool. Uh, you just click on it once and then you click on the Kraken, you'll throw it and then you'll automatically start attacking once the Kraken appears. So it's this, this is very AFK. This is definitely a very chill Slayer task. You just have to keep an eye on your uh, prayer or I guess on your HP. It's actually been a while since I've worn this uh, Vorkath helmet. Or my bad, the Turquoise Slayer helmet. Yeah, after getting that cow fight head, after like, what was it, like 600, 700 kills, uh, that's all I wore for a good bit, but I thought I'd mix it up for this series. It, maybe we'll change it every episode, so maybe all the Slayer tasks that we do in this episode will just be with the Warcath helmet, and then we'll move over to like another helmet for the next episode. Hopefully I uh, remember to stick to that. <laughs> I might easily forget. Ooh, Sandfew Serums. Every time I do PVM and I get drops like this, uh, it kind of hurts my soul, you know, because I'm like, just think of how long it would take you to craft 500 Chaos Runes. Pretty, uh, pretty pointless to do that nowadays. Look at that throw. Perfect every single time. About 800k for this one trip, so I think we're making decent money, but once again, we are spending money on sharks and of course the charges for the swamp staff. Some notable drops. The Trident of the Seas is dropped here at a 1 in 512 drop rate. Uh, it's worth about 800k, so it's pretty nice. You can also get the Kraken Tentacle here, which is a 1 in 400 drop, worth about 400k. So, again, an another nice drop. As far as money goes, those are pretty much your big drops. Uh, I guess you can include Magic Seeds and Torstals. Those are pretty high up there as well, but they're not Uniques. Um, yeah, but as far as Uniques go, it's just really the Kraken Tentacle and the uh, Trident of the Seas. And then, of course, the Pet, which is a 1 in 3000 drop, which would be pretty nice to get here. Oh yeah, and I also didn't, I forgot to mention another unique, the uh, Jar of Dirt, uh, but there's a good reason why I forgot to mention it. It's a 1 in 1,000 drop, and it's only worth 7,000 coins. So yeah, not, not very good. No way, no way, dude, no way. I was just talking trash about this item. <laughs> We just got the jar of dirt. Oh my, that, that's, I mean, it's a very fitting name. It, it's essentially worth the dirt. I mean, 7K for this item? Oh my, that's what I get for talking trash about it. You know what, maybe I should talk trash about the pet. I think the Kraken pet is one of the worst pet. It's probably the worst game, or the worst pet in the game. I absolutely ha hate the pet, it looks so dumb. It's, it's the worst pet by far, it's so ugly. Okay, now please give me the pet. I've come to realize that my awareness is quite low. Uh, I just noticed there's a body floating in the back. <laughs> I've, I've been here for, I'd say over an hour already. And yeah, I didn't notice that there was a, a dead body over there. I feel kind of bad that I didn't, you know, report it to the authorities already. 1800 KC and we are rewarded with some watermelon seeds. Very nice. That trip lasted pretty long. I think we got like 75 kills or something that trip. Uh, thanks to all of the shark drops that we got. And that is 1900 KC. Some more watermelon seeds. Thank you very much. All right. And this should be the last kill of the Slayer task. Pet drop. 
Mm, no pet drop. Loot tracker says we got 186 kills, but I think we got two kills with no loot. So I think it was like 188. And total loot in the loot tracker says 3.42 mil. So not bad at all. So after taking down the Kraken almost 200 times, I decided to go back to my good friend Duradel and receive another Slayer task. 20 Dark Beasts. Okay, we can do that. That's not going to take very long. A lot of cash leaving the account. Turn it into Platinum Tokens if it'll exchange. There we go. Put that away. And just like that, we've unlocked the Abyssal Whip. We're just spending money like crazy for a task that's going to be over in less than 15 minutes, probably. <laughs> Some of these gems. Can't remember the last time that I made Slayer Rings. I think maybe it was back when I first unlocked them. I think I just made a whole bunch and I've like never had to make any more. So yeah, it's been a while. I like how you can attack these guys from really far away. Yeah, they really don't have a crazy drop table. I, really the only like good item on it is the Dark Bow. But it's very rare and I've never actually gotten one from these Dark Beasts. Uh, it's a 1 in 512 drop and the item itself is only worth about 350k so it's nothing too crazy. But it would be cool to see a Dark Bow. I just realized there's a Rune Rock down here. Uh, a very interesting spot for a rock I must say. Alright there we go, Solera task has been completed. As you can see, we made some pretty nice money from this task. Let's go ahead and do a little price check. Uh, hello? There we go. Yeah, 18k. Uh, does that pay for the supplies that we used? I think so. So yeah, pretty good task. Your new task is to kill Barrows Brothers. Okay, I mean, we, we've already done that, but let's go ahead and do some more. Give me 38. All right, there we go. First chest. Nothing. I always forget to drink the ranging potions whenever I'm doing barrows. I've already done a good amount of chess and I've yet to drink it. So yeah, we might end up finishing this entire Slayer task without drinking a single ranging potion. And nothing. Another Slayer task completed. Yep, so it turns out I was right. I finished the task without using any of the uh, ranging potions once again. All right, last chest, almost 500k, not bad. All right, let's go grab another task real quick and see what we can get. If I'm being honest, I've kind of been hoping for a black demons task. That way we can go kill some demonics because that would be a really good way to make some money. Uh, yeah, not the greatest, uh, I'll be honest. Not, not, not the greatest whatsoever, but uh, I'm actually kind of tempted to buy a cannon for this. We'll buy 2,500, because why not? We're swimming in the money. And here we go. We'll go ahead and help out our fellow guards. That's all it says, just guards. And just like that, we've already received a long bone. Very nice. Good to see our RNGs being used in the right places. But yeah, I remember these guys dropped some pretty cool stuff. I think they dropped like rune kite shields and uh, granite. Oh, and rune warhammers apparently and uh like granite shields and whatnot so yeah some pretty nice high elks there it is there's the rune kite shield oh sapphire can't leave that behind it's worth more cut all right there we go task completed about 94k made from that one task 177 cave horrors okay i haven't done that one in a long time as well so yeah i think i'm gonna unlock the bone crusher necklace for now uh, it'll pretty much replace our glory until we get a better amulet so yeah so 139k i'll just take out 140 all right 140 platinum tokens there we go and just like that we've unlocked the bone crusher necklace so apparently with the bone crusher necklace uh we can pretty much keep protect melee up the entire time but just in case i'll bring some prayer potions Oh well, I didn't realize how little HP they had. They only have 55 HP. That's crazy. I didn't realize it was that low. Yeah, so as for drops here, they really don't have anything too crazy besides the black mask. I believe it's a 1 in 512 chance at getting it. And it's worth about 700k right now, so it's a decent drop. Oh, but we just got a hard plus roll. That's cool. 
I just got here though, so I'm not going to do it immediately. I'm going to finish this task up and then we'll do this, do this at the end. Normally I would do a clue scroll as soon as I get it. That way we get a chance at more hard clue scrolls. But uh, yeah, the run over here is pretty far away, so I think I'll just finish the task for now. Ooh, another sapphire. You know the drill. And sold horror head. Thought that was the mask for a second. Don't really understand it. All of these guys are wearing the masks. Yet, only one in every 512 would drop them on average. Doesn't really make any sense. I have the head right here, but no mask. I was thinking maybe I was going to get the head and the mask on it, and then I could just separate him. Like, that makes more sense. Also, I'm killing bats like crazy. I apologize. Look at that's so terrifying. What in the world? It's uh, pretty terrifying. What is that? Oh, okay, belladonna seed. Okay, we're good. Or belladonna seed. No, it's potato seeds. Okay. <laughs> oh man, this is cursed. Two of them. There we go. That's the drop we were looking for. Grimier and our weed. Just made this entire task totally worth it. What is that? What is that? Yes, another gem. I think I just found the uh, next item that I'm going to be collecting. Since I sold most of my collection before this series. <laughs> just uncut sapphires. The Snapdragon Seed. Nice to see that we got one decent item this entire task. And there we go. Task completed. Unfortunately, no black mask. Oh well, maybe next time. 226 Abyssal Demons. Okay, that's... That's decent. Whoa, look at the glow from all these rats. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And of course, oh wow, look at the water, man. God, I, I, can, I can't get over the water. It's just so nice. If only we could fish. Fish from here. Alright, excuse me while I do a cinematic. I'm sorry. It, it would be wrong if I didn't do a cinematic, so let's go ahead and do one. Okay, I'm satisfied. Sorry, I had to do that little cinematic. It was just such a nice place. Here we are in the Duel Arena, where it all began, or where it all ended, I guess you could say, <laughs> depending on how you look at it. There we go, there's the casket. Get away from me, that's a big wolf. Okay, <laughs> very fitting name. All right, let's go ahead and open up our hard casket. Can't open it in the house, okay. Can't even open it in the comfort of my own home. Here we go. A Bando's kite shot for the collection log, but other than that, uh, not too good. About 73k. As for drops, uh, I know they drop some herbs that are, you know, they dropped, the, of course, the Grammy Ranar weed, which is, you know, it's valuable. Why not? Um, but besides that, I think it's just like some alcohols like Rune Chain Body, Rune Med Home. Uh, really what we're looking for is that Abyssal Whip drop. Everything else is kind of like, eh. It'll, it'll probably pay for supplies, maybe, if we get lucky with some of the Alkables, but that's about it. We're really looking for that Abyssal Whip drop, which is a 1 in 512 drop, so it's kind of rare. But if we do get it, that's about 1.9 mil, so it's pretty nice. Wait, I just realized there's an Abyssal Demon up here. I don't think he's supposed to be up there. I think he might have teleported up there. <laughs> I might have to hop worlds because uh, I don't want to go and tag him and get burnt by the Iron Dragon. So, yeah, might have to hop. I just realized this thing is uh, glowing. That's pretty cool. Another clue scroll hard with 96 Abyssal Demons to go. Just like the last one, we'll wait until we finish this task and then we'll go and do it and get that third age. Also, it would be nice if we could get a uh, whip before then. So, yeah. I think I've used Arclight like once or twice for an Abyssal Demon task, but every other time I didn't bring it just because I didn't want to waste charges on it. But I think because of that, I now have a lot of charges that I probably won't end up using all for a very, very long time. So maybe I should have brought Arclight. Oh, 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 Uncut Sapphire. I think the goal is to have the biggest Uncut Sapphire collection in the entire game. That's my new goal. It's not reaching max cash. No, it's reaching a max stack of uncut sapphires. Oh, there it is. There it is. With 15 kills left, we got the Abyssal Whip. Oh, look at it. 
Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. I was really worried. I was really, really worried that we weren't going to get it. But that just made this task worth it. Very nice. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking maybe I should get rid of the whip. Uh, put the whip back in the unlocks tab or just hide it somewhere in the bank and stick to a regular whip. That way I can sell it if I need to, right? Because if I keep this whip, it's technically untradeable right now and I won't be able to sell it for other gear. So I might just switch it for this one and get my platinum tokens back. And there we go, task over. All right, so here we go. I got my platinum tokens back. We're gonna convert them into gold coins. There we go, back in the cash stack. And then as for this whip, I'm just gonna put it in, well, yeah, I guess we're not gonna use it in the unlocks tab since we already have like a regular whip. So I'll just put it in my junk tab and we'll just forget about it there. This is a little dangerous by the way. This man has broken glass on the floor all over his house. Very dangerous. I recommend cleaning that up. Which brings us to today's sponsor. <laughs> no. There's our casket. Let's go to our POH so we're not interrupted by the poison tick. Alright, here we go. Our first master clue. Let's go ahead and do this and see what we can get. Oh, I just realized I was about to get my music cape. Uh, I have to pay for that. <laughs> so I guess we're going to unlock another item for 99k. Let's go ahead and get it out. Turn these into platinum tokens, put them away, and there we go. Another item has been unlocked, the music cape. And the only reason why I want it is just for the quick teleport to Faldvard. And there we go, our first master casket of the series. I'm excited. Let's see what's in there. Pretty garbage for a master casket, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, that's pretty sad, but you know what? It was a really easy master clue. No difficult or annoying steps in there, so eh, it's whatever. 151 cave kraken. Okay, well we just we just did that, so yeah, I guess we'll go take a break and do something else. Maybe some skilling, maybe I don't know, some other moneymaker, but yeah, the cave kraken we'll do that later. So with the opening of that final master clue casket, I think this is a pretty good place to end the video. Now, I went ahead and sold most of the loot that was in my bank. There is a few items that are still in there that I wasn't able to get in the final price check, but I think I got most of it. So not only do I have a bunch of the items that I used in this episode, uh, some of the high ticket items, but I also have some untradeables towards the bottom, such as the gloves, the helmet, the music cape, and of course the dragon bone necklace. Now if we add everything up, it's around 13 mil with the berserker ring in there, so not bad. Good to see that even after unlocking a bunch of items, we still made it past our 10 mil goal. And just in case you've forgotten, here is some of the notable drops that we got in this episode. And the jar of dirt. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and thank you to all the people who have decided to become channel members. With a special thanks to Captain Fat Daddy. Once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you.